welcome back to my youtube channel excuse my hair it's disgusting i know let's not talk about that today today we're finally doing the full face of japanese makeup i were in tokyo i was in tokyo i were in tokyo sorry i'm norwegian <laughs> i were in tokyo july the 1st to july 11th and i was like i'm gonna create a youtube channel so why not do full face of japanese makeup so i bought bought a lot of shit or a lot of stuff and then I saw Safia upload a video of full face using Japanese makeup and that's fucking awesome and now we're gonna do the same thing today please like subscribe to my channel be a part of the live family and watch this video all right so the first step now is of course primer and I picked up a quite interesting little thing really it's the magical pore minimizer it's from Rimmel London no that's not Japanese is it so we're gonna use this thing which is not Japanese apparently huh. maybe I should find my egg pour thing okay even though I really want to use this one it's not from Japan I, I believe yeah, okay so I'm switching to the egg pour primer this is from Tony Moly so well that's Korean but this is a Korean slash Japanese you know makeup tutorial so it's okay oh I know what I can do I can use I can use both primers we're using both primers. Taking the egg pour first, putting some on my fingers, and just putting that on my forehead. And on my chin, a little bit right here. The consistency is quite hard, but it blends into the skin quite nice, so that's a good sign. And now we're gonna open this shit up. Okay, it looks something like this. That's a weird consistency, okay. Oh, that's cooling, I like that. It smells pretty good too. That's nice. Next step now is foundation. I picked up two items, this thing and this thing. This is a BB cream, I think. Yeah, this was in the darkest shade and I'm gonna show you. That was the darkest shade. That's not possible. We're gonna check this out as well. That was also the darkest shade. It's the shade 05 and that's from Kate Tokyo. Okay, I'm gonna swatch her a little bit. Oh, that's a weird packaging, okay. Oh, that was dark actually. Wait, what? Do you see that? That does not look like the packaging at all. I can mix those two together so that we can create our perfect shade. I do have kind of a foundation brush. I have this thing. It's It says BB and CC. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna try using this one first and probably will go over with a beauty blender. I'm currently just taking... Oh, that was a lot. Oops. And then two pumps of this one. And I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. Trying with the brush. I like that brush. Why do I like this brush? It looks like shit. Okay, putting some on my forehead. This is coverage, honey. Wow. I would never expect this in my fucking entire life that I would like a foundation brush. You know what? My hair annoys me so much, I just have to put it in an ugly ponytail. I'm so sorry. Why does this look good? Wow. I'm just gonna go over with my beauty blender and just make sure I have no streaks. This looks so fucking good. The coverage is medium to full, really. You can see some of my freckles, but I like that. Next step now is, of course, concealer, but I really didn't find a concealer. So I think I'm just gonna use... The BB cream, since that's the lightest one. And I'm just gonna put some, yeah, on the back of my hand. And we're gonna dot this shit on. With our fingers, of course, because we're cheap. And since this is a BB cream, it's not full coverage. So I'm gonna leave it on, on the mice just for a minute or so. So that we build up some coverage. Starting blending it out to see what happens. Putting it on my eyelids as well. Hmm. Not bad. I'm gonna put on another layer just because. Why not? Just starting blending that in right away or straight away. It's not full coverage, but I'm not mad at it. It's okay. And I do actually have a setting powder. I have this thing. It's from Kate Tokyo as well. It's a face powder. It's called the Base Zero. Let's open her up. Looks something like this. Packaging is very cheap, but that's okay. I think it's drugstore. I would think. Yeah, it's drugstore. Sorry. It's glitter in it. No way. It's glitter. Why? Why is it glitter? No. Let's try back with this little gal. No way. Can you see that? 
I'm fucking shining. That that's a lot of glitter. No. Is it really a highlighter? Maybe it's a highlighter. Have I fucked up? I'm taking a huge fluffy brush and I'm just gonna try to remove a lot of that. We're gonna have glittery under eyes this video. That's nice. What the fuck am I gonna use for powder then? Okay, I do want to make this work so I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use my own setting powder. We're using the Laura Mercier one. Putting a lot on under eyes and now setting my eyelids. Okay, might have to set my eyelids again. I think I kind of saved it. It's not a lot of streaks left. Okay, now I'm just setting the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier powder. Okay, mm -hmm. what are we gonna do now? Okay, we're just gonna do my brows because why not? For brows, I picked up this thing. This is the Cezanne Powder Eyebrow. Powder Eyebrow, made in Japan. That's nice. You get this little brush with you. How does that work? That actually looks quite nice. Okay, let's try that. Nope, not using that. Using my Makeup Forever, no, Makeup Mecca Duo Brow Brush. It's the 246. Spitting on it, or licking, licking it. And dipping into, of course, the darker shade, because I have black hair. That's not really pigmented. I don't really think pigmented eyebrows is a thing in Japan because when I went there, I didn't really see anyone with marked eyebrows. I have very marked eyebrows. I like a fake eyebrow. So maybe that's the whole point of this product to be a little bit more shy, you know, not a deep brow type of thing. The color is actually pretty good. We'll take a little bit more on under here. Just to try to make the eyebrow that I like. It's getting better. Not mad at it. Now I'm just gonna do my other brow and I'll be right back. My brows are done. So I think we're gonna try to... Hmm. We're gonna try to contour our little faces. I have this powder. It's from K-Tokyo as well. Secret Skin Maker Zero Foundation. I have foundation on. Is that stupid? Ooh! It comes with a little sponge thing, which I'm not gonna use. Bye. Wait, what? No lids or anything. Okay. So this is probably like a C palette type of thing. That you're gonna put it in a palette yourself. I don't really have a contour brush from Japan that I want to use. I don't really have a lot of brushes from Japan. We're gonna use this brush. This is the Soiva 126 brush. And we're gonna dip into this powder. It's, by the way, in the shade 05 or 05. Hmm. It's very orange. This is a shy little girl. Wow. Trying to take some right here. Oh, wow. Okay. Put on weight. Oh, that's that blends out like a dream. Did you see that? That was crazy. Japan, you're fucking blended. You're snatched. We're blended to the devil, honey. We'll bronze up our jawline just a little bit. I like this. Hmm. We'll try to contour my nose with this bronzing powder using my fluffy pointed brush from eBay. And just following my nose. I'm not mad at it. I like this. Now I'm just gonna bake my face a little bit with the Laura Mercier powder to sharpen up this bronzy color a little bit. Just gonna leave that on for a brief second because I will apply some blush now. I have this thing, this is a liquid a liquid blush, and I have these two little little fuckers. Okay, but well, let's open this up. It's from Sugao. It looks something like this when it's open. I like that. Hmm. I will take a little bit on my beauty blender. Yeah, let's try it on our cheeks. That's actually pretty nice. This would be fucking Jeffree Star approved. I will try to dip into these blushes as well. I will probably mix them just because I feel like I should, you know. Not gonna use that. Bye. Taking my angled brush from eBay. Ooh, that looks pigmented. That's pigmented. Wow. Oh no. 
Oh no! Oh 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 oh! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> highlighter would really be the next step now. I didn't really find a highlighter except this face powder, but I have some eyeshadow shit going on here. The middle shade in this little palette, I will show you. Another brush thing. Hello. And I will dip in with my eBay brush in the middle shade. And let's see what happens. That's gorgeous. That's stunning. Wow. No fix plus whatsoever. Ooh. Can you see? Can you see this? Wow. I like that. I like this a lot. All right. It's time. To do the eyeshadow. For eyeshadow I have two palettes really. I have these two. The one with the highlight and I have this one. This is by the way from Can Make. And this is from Cezanne. And I did actually pick up some brushes for this. Oh I forgot I had the highlighting brush. We'll use that a little bit now. Yeah this brush is from Rosy Rosa. It's a cool name. From eyeshadow brushes I picked up these two. It looks something like this from Rosy Rosa from Rosy Rosa as well and I'm gonna just okay I will not use any of these brushes right away I'm gonna dip into my Morphe B79 brush and the first shade we're gonna dip into is hmm I think we're gonna dip into this shade first really the blush one no that's glittery as well we'll try the bronzing the bronzing powder and take that in our crease this is probably not eye safe so not the best choice but that's okay Looks pretty dope right away. Can't complain. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now we'll go in with this thing, the blush, with the same brush, just because why not? I'm putting that in my crease as well. Looks pretty nice actually. Now I'm just gonna dip into my Soiva 227 brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade, the brown here. And I'm gonna put that in my crease, but I'm gonna be a little bit more careful pigment where you are. Hmm. That's a pretty dope color. I like this so far. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush thing and I'm gonna once once again dip into the dark shade that I just used and I'm gonna deepen out my crease a little bit or deepen out my outer V. All right, I think it's time to put some shimmer in here. Just gonna quickly go over that. I do want to use this shade. This watch is amazing, really. Let's just apply that with our fingers and see what's gonna happen. Ooh, that's pigmented. Wow, why is this working? I really didn't think this was gonna work just because I'm very skeptical when it comes to eyeshadow because I'm a sugar pill type of gal, you know? But I think I'm gonna go in with the this shade, the almost white thing. And put that in the middle of my lid. Well, not in the middle, but in my inner V. Inner V, okay. This is a quite natural look, actually. And I'm not mad at it. Well, I am a little bit streaky where I did put the dark color. So I might gonna fix that. But I think I really want a halo eye because I feel like this is a little bit boring. So we're dipping into the dark shade again. And we're gonna put that in my inner V. I'm gonna try to deepen out this look a little bit more. This looks good. Why does it look good? I... It's me, Karina fucking Lear. And I did something that's not fucked up. Except the highlighter as a baking powder thing, but... What the fuck is happening? What's happening with my life? I do want to try to make a pink under eye just because why not? So we're using a sponge thing that followed some of the other products. It looks pretty cool really. I like this. With this brush from Rosa Rosy. Rosy Rosa, sorry. We're gonna dip into the dark color that we used for really everything else. Just gonna apply that to my under eyes. Trying to deepen out my under eye right here. Taking the highlighter shade from this thing. 
Just gonna put that in the inner corners of my eye. I'm not mad at this, I like this. For brow bone highlighter, we're just gonna use this white thing. It wasn't that pigmented, but it's okay. It's working. Why didn't I think this was gonna work? I didn't do this straight away because I thought I were I thought I was gonna fuck this up, but three months later and it looks okay! What the fuck? What's happening? Well, okay. Moving on to mascara. This looks amazing! I mean, look at her. Look at her. It looks bougie, kind of. Well, the mascara. It's not heavy. It's nothing bougie, but I thought it looked bougie for a brief second. This mascara, Heroin Make, Volume and Curl Mascara. I like that. It smells very cheap, really. Let's try. <laughs> okay my lashes got pretty long it goes all the way up to my brow so that's that's okay i'm not into a natural mascara but it's okay for this video all right now it's time to move on to lipstick and i have a few options really i have this 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 and i did have another thing as well where is it the thing yeah Oh, two things more. This thing, need to use that look at it. And a tattoo thing, okay. These are magic tints. That's cool. We'll probably top a lipstick with that. This changed color. Yeah, it gets pink. Let's open her up. Wow, that's cool. Can you tell? Let's put her on and see what happens. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like kids makeup. Ooh, like that. It gets pink. Does it job? Feels very good on the lips. Tastes like shit. Okay. But it's not really the color that I want, so we're gonna take it off. Alright, let's swatch these two. Let's see. Oh, that's a interesting applicator. Look something like this now. We'll leave it on for a few seconds and see what happens. And in the meantime, we can apply this. This is the Lasting Lip Tint. One Day Tattoo. Lasting Lip Tint Stick. It's from K Palette, I think. Look something like this. Let's try. That's very soft. I like that. Okay, here's the swatches. Okay, I'm gonna take the magic tint over this lasting lip tint stick. That feels so good. My lips look hella good. I want to zoom in a little bit. Can you tell? My lips look fucking airbrushed. Wow. Japan, you have incredible makeup. Oh no, I forgot I had some had some more eyeshadow we need to test that it's the witch's pouch eyeshadow thing i'm a mess i'm so sorry i think i swatched this in the store and it looked bomb.com wow let's just try to take it on our eyes this looks pretty good i know i'm um, i'm very natural right now because i'm usually like full face grunge yeah <clears throat> and lots of colors and shit, but I really loved how this turned out. Japan, I'm coming for you and I'm gonna buy all your fucking makeup. Like, literally everything of it, because this shit is amazing. I would wear this to school, I would wear this to work, I would wear this every single day. I love this. Damn. So, yeah, liars, that's it for today's video. I... I fucking loved how this look turned out. It's it's amazing and oh, it's so good really. The highlights, it's, I mean, everything. So go to Japan, buy this makeup for yourself and test it and yeah. Oh, I should have bought more and I could do a giveaway next time I'm in Japan, I promise you. Please subscribe to my channel and join the Liar family and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.